what's the point of looking nice and be beautiful and have your hair done, your makeup done, your nails done, and you don't smell nice? Hey girlies, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Naomi. If you're returning from watching my previous video, welcome. As you can tell from the title, I will be sharing with you guys my whole perfume collection and the perfume that I've been collecting over the past few months. I don't know what's been going on with me, but I've literally been obsessed with perfumes recently. I feel like when you smell good, you look good, you feel good, and yeah, so let's just jump right into the video. So the first perfume I want to show you guys is this one. This is the Valentino Barney Roma, and it's a beautiful, sweet vanilla scent. Like, I don't even know how to describe it. I don't really know about notes, but I'm going to try and insert it in the screen so you guys can see the notes that it has, but it definitely has vanilla bourbon. It sounds so bougie and so nice. Anything that has vanilla in it, I'm interested. I want it. And anything that's described as sweet. And I feel like sometimes I can tell by the bottle that I'm going to like a perfume, for example, if it's like a pink bottle like this one, and it says something fresh, fruity, and sweet, I know I will like it. And this was a blind buy. I saw this everywhere. Most of the girls on YouTube that had the same perfume as I had this, and I was like, you know what, I'm just gonna order this. It was my birthday, and I have my friend, she always gifts me perfumes on my birthday, but so she bought it for me, and I don't regret it. It smells amazing. I wear this when I want to feel feminine and sweet, and it's definitely a daytime perfume. I mean, I would not wear this at night. That's me, personally. Oh, gosh, it smells so nice. And the bottle is just so cute. If you know Valentino, their brand, they have this studs. Most of their perfumes have studs on it, I think. So yeah, so this is Valentino born in Roma. So the next one is Yves Saint Laurent Montpari. Guys, just look at the bottle. It's so cute. I'm one of those people who buy fragrances because the bottle looks cute. It just looks great when it's sitting on my counter and if it smells good, it's a plus. I first smelled this perfume, I remember, when I was in university. So this girl came to say hi to me and she smelled so good. And I was like, you smell so good, what are you wearing? Guys, by the way, if you smell someone, like a woman or a lady somewhere, and she smells amazing, ask what she's wearing. It, it will kill you. Most of the perfumes that I have, I did ask. I mean, this one, I asked and she was like, oh, I'm wearing, and she even showed me, she was like, oh, I'm gonna show it to you. And she was like, this one, Mon Paris. I had never smelled this one. At that time, I used to love Black Opium by YSL. By the way, YSL makes amazing perfumes. I've never smelled a perfume from YSL that doesn't smell great. They're on point when it comes to perfume. At that time, I was obsessed with black opium. I'm pretty sure every girl has black opium. I mean, I don't I don't own it anymore. Would I buy it? Maybe, I don't know, but that used to be like my OG perfume. I would buy black opium and all the, like that used to be like my scent. And when she showed this to me, I was like, yeah, let me, let me go try it. It's such a fruity smell. Like I said, my sister smelled it and my mom, they were like, oh my gosh, they're obsessed. They went, they rushed, they got a bottle. It smells amazing. I don't know the notes in here. Honestly, I don't even know. When people say stuff like, oh, it has bergamot, um, jasmine, I don't know what that smells like. Honestly, I just smell the perfume and if it smells nice, I'm gonna buy it. I just know I love vanilla because you know, vanilla is a great scent in uh, my perfume, but that's it. Apart from vanilla, I don't really know. I'm just gonna write the notes of the perfume on the screen so you guys can see, but it smells amazing. And the bottle is so cute. This is a very beautiful and feminine scent. If you are starting your fragrance collection and you love fruity fragrances and fresh and feminine, definitely go for this one. I would wear this for afternoon tea with my friends or a 
date during the day it's amazing and every time i wear this people are always like what are you wearing it smells great and it definitely lasts long on the skin it is beautiful and this is the eau de parfum so it's not the eau de toilette i don't buy eau de toilettes because i feel like they don't last as long as eau de parfum so all of my fragrances are eau de parfum so the next one we have some chanel okay so this is coco mademoiselle by chanel i wish you could smell this through the screen it smells amazing this used to be like my favorite perfume as you can see this is not so much of a fruity scent it's more of i think it contains like orangey Ugh. guys i'm so sorry i'm going to put the notes on screen again it's not so free but i would say it's very fresh if i had an interview a job interview during the day i would wear this this is feminine but you're that girl do you know what i mean it smells amazing my mom used to have this and she used to smell so good and i was like i need this in my life i'm not a big fan of chanel fragrances but this one smells great this is the coco mademoiselle because the chanel number no. five like the bottle is similar but i hate that perfume it's like an old lady scent i don't like it i feel like chanel their scent is more directed towards older people apart from this one is okay and i think um chance by chanel smells great as well i'm definitely going to get this when this is done i was so tempted to get it at the airport when i was coming back from my trip but i was like mm, let me just wait until this is done and then i'll buy that one it smells great and it lasts you guys could wear this go take a shower come back and the scent is still going to be there i've worn these on clothes i washed it i washed the clothes and i could still smell this it smells great definitely a must have if you're trying to build your collection this is definitely try and look into this it's beautiful i love the scent what's the point of looking nice and be beautiful and have your hair done your makeup done your nails done and you don't smell nice what's the point you just wasted everything i feel like every woman should have that scent that when she passes by everyone's like what is she wearing she smells so good no one should have this but yeah this is coco mademoiselle by chanel so the next one is saint laurent libre mm -hmm. if you see this in every girl's fragrance collection there is a reason why like, if you don't own this perfume like what are you doing go get these oh my gosh the notes are a little similar to coco chanel like it's not that fruity but it's a fresh scent it smells great i will wear this if i'm going to a wedding during the day i this would not be my everyday scent i mean if you're working the corporate job maybe i would wear this like to go to work every day if you enter a room and you wear this everybody knows that you're here it smells very nice but again it's lightweight it's not too strong oh my gosh they really did this with the bottle it's this as you can see this clear bottle and the huge YSL logo on it this is also a must have i will definitely be repurchasing these because this is amazing next one it's still YSL Lieber but in the intense version you know how they bring out fragrances and then they bring out an intense version i'm still gonna buy it i am still going to buy it if it does smell nice definitely a date night scent if you're going on a date or you're going out at night a date night with your friends or with... this is the perfect scent it smells so good and it lasts so long it's very i'm the woman and i'm there and yes i just entered the room it smells amazing i love this i actually like this one better than the other one again i'm going to insert the notes down below this is not a fresh or fruity scent but it's definitely that's like what are you doing if you don't have libra what are you doing i feel like libra is slowly going to become the black opium and i hope not because you know i don't want everybody to smell like this in a room but yeah it smells amazing you guys if you're wondering which one you should get between both 
get this one. See, this is my go-to night out perfume. Every time I go out at night for dinner with my friends or wherever I'm going at night, I'm, I'm, I'm wearing this one. This one is more of a daytime perfume for me. If I'm going for brunch or for lunch, then I'm going to wear this. Or I have an event, I'm going for an event, I will wear this. So yeah, this is Intense. It has like this brown color and this one is a little bit more light. But both are Eau de Parfum. I think they have the Eau de Toilette version, but like I said, I don't wear Eau de, Parf Eau de Toilette, sorry. I don't wear them. I just rather get the Eau de Parfum. Like, you're buying a $100 perfume. Why would I get the Eau de Toilette? It doesn't even last that long. Why would I do that? So, yeah, this one is a bit more lighter. I honestly don't understand why brands come out with Eau de Toilette. What's the point? So the next one that I have here, it's from Zara. It's called Sublime Epoque. This is actually new. They came out with this this year. Don't sleep on Zara perfume, you guys. I know people have the perception like they want a good fragrance, they'll go buy designer fragrance. Yes, designer fragrances are nice, but Zara though, their perfumes be really be be, be the thing and they're really affordable i think this one was like 30 dollars or 29 i'm not sure and it's a hundred oh it's 80 or 100 ml i'm not sure it's giving luxury clean chic to me i i just love how the bottle looks like but i've been wearing zara perfumes for ages now and you know the small little perfumes they make that that are like roundish and they smell great. They don't last as long. You definitely have to spray it again during the day, throughout the day. They're great. They have a whole range of different types. They smell amazing. And then I think it was last year that they came out with this range. I feel like this is more long lasting because it definitely lasts. Like when I spray this one, I can still smell it on my clothes the next day. It definitely does last and it smells amazing. So if you follow Melissa Wardrobe on Instagram, this fashion of a blogger on Instagram, right? She posted on a story, I think it was last year or... Yeah, it was last year, I think. She posted on a story about two perfumes from Zara like this and she was like, she basically was going on and on and how amazing it smelled. And as soon as she posted that, she spoke about Rose Gourmand and Red Temptation. Everyone, it was out of stock everywhere. I couldn't get it from anywhere, you guys. Like in store, I couldn't get it. I put my notification. As soon as I come back, it's gone. Really wanted the Rose Gourmand because I just felt like it would smell really nice. Like I remember I read the notes and i feel like this this is what i want like i feel like it smells really nice and i didn't mind blind buying it because it's not expensive it's really affordable but i've never been able to get a chance to get one <laughs> so when i went in store and i was just checking the perfumes and when i saw these i was hoping maybe they have rose gourmand they didn't have it they didn't i even asked the lady in the store she was like it's out of stock i just need to put my notification again first i was like you know what it's fine so i started like just smelling ah! i just broke it oh my gosh i just broke the lead it's fine i fixed it <laughs> So yeah, I saw that they had new ranges because last year they only had, I think it was like three or four from this range. So they had some oud scents, but of course I don't like oud, so I don't really like it. And then I smelled one um, that smells exactly like Lieb. It smells exactly like this one. So if you don't want to splurge on this one, and you're willing to try it out, uh, go try that one out. It's called Golden Decade. I'm going to put it on the screen here. It smells exactly like it's a dupe for this one. Literally smells the same thing. And then I smelled this one and I was like, oh my gosh. So this is like a fruity scent. Of course, I'm going to get a fruity scent. Oh, it smells amazing, you guys. It could definitely pass for a designer fragrance and it does last a really long time as well. It's amazing. I don't know the notes in here as well. I'm going to check or put it on the screen. 
but wow it's if i if i meet someone that smells like this i just want to hug them it smells very feminine and fresh and fruity definitely going to get this again and it's only 30 dollars for what 80 millimeters i'm getting this one again i should have gotten two but i wasn't really sure because i just tried it and i was like wow this smells great let me just buy it and when i when i tried it home it smelled amazing do not sleep on zara perfume zara really be doing it they came out with so many ranges i think this is like because it says on the box chapter two so yeah hopefully they come out with a chapter three for people who are obsessed with perfumes like me could buy more um, i was very decisive between these and another one but this this really did it for me this smells amazing i am still on the hunt for rose gourmand red temptation not so much because i've been saying that it's the dupe for baccarat rouge and i don't like that that that, that fragrance if you wear that if you like that fine but i don't just see what the hype is around baccarat rouge no <laughs> i smelt it and i was like mm -mm. no i don't like it it's not my type of fragrance so i don't know but maybe i'll just buy it to try and see and give it a try because again Bacarou, i just tried it like that and i don't like it if you wear it no offense i know it's a really popular perfume but i feel like uh francisco dijon he has better perfumes than Bacarou. i don't know why people are anyways that's my opinion yeah i was saying i'm definitely going to get the red temptation apparently it's a dupe for that so yeah so that's a uh, sublime époque from zara it smells amazing oh my gosh mm. go get this so the next one is lancome la vie est belle Intensément. So this is the intense version of the regular Lancôme La Vie Belle. Well, I think they have different ranges from this one. They have the regular one. They have another one. I'm not too sure, but this is the one I have. It's Intensément. First of all, the bottle. I feel like I, I'm attracted by perfumes with a bow. Just look at it. So cute. So this is the intense version. Mmm. It smells sweet, but it's bold. Like, it's a sweet, bold scent. I can wear this during the day and during the night as well. It smells really nice. It's not my favorite, but it's definitely a nice scent. I feel like there is vanilla in, in it. I'm not sure, but I feel... I can smell vanilla, but I'm not sure. My mom used to have the regular La Vie Belle. It's a great scent, but I feel like it's just very mature. I wouldn't wear that. So when I smelled these, I was like, yeah, this is super nice. I want this. It smells great. Not my favorite, but definitely a must try if you're trying to build your fragrance collection. I love this. I would wear this every day as well. It's very bold. Like if you're going to work and you work a corporate job, I would wear this. Like very nice, very feminine as well. It's feminine and bold. Yeah, feminine and bold at the same time. Very nice. Fruity, but not too fruity. Yeah. The next fragrance here is by Muggler. Is it Muggler? I don't know how to pronounce this thing. But this is Alien Goddess. Guys, can we take a moment to like appreciate the bottle? I feel like every time a, a fragrance has like a crystal on it, I need to go smell it because it just looks so nice. But yeah, I think all his perfumes look like this. They just have different colors. I'm not too sure. I've never been a fan of Muggler and his fragrances, but this is it. And this was a gift. So it smells. Hmm. I don't know how to describe. Again, I will put the notes down below, but it's a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful scent. I would wear this. I would categorize this one with YSL Libre. For me, I feel like they're very similar. I would wear this for lunch dates or brunch with my friends. Um, I wouldn't categorize this one as a date night scent or a night scent. I feel like 
I have fragrances that I wear during the day and some that I wear during the night. I feel like I wear my fragrances depending on where I'm going. So if I'm just going to the store for errands, I would wear a particular fragrance or are you guys like that? Comment down below if you're like that as well. So this is beautiful. I, like I said, I wear this during the day. It's not a night set for me. And the ball is so cute. It's so beautiful on my counter. Like so 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 pretty so yeah so this is alien goddess by is it thierry Mugler? yeah i think so i'm not sure so the next one is a fragrance by huda beauty i love huda beauty makeup a1 amazing and i've been seeing her fragrances around this is actually the latest fragrance that i got so i've been seeing people talking about kelly fragrances especially vanilla 28 everyone was like oh it smells amazing it's a vanilla scent blah 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 so i was like you know what let me try this and the bottle looks really cute it has the little diamond it's a beautiful i love the bottle but i didn't want to blind buy it i was scared at first i was really tempted to order it but like this small um, version because this is like a, they have like a small version like a really small version that you can just put in your purse or whatever but i was like let me just go smell it and just get the big bottle so i go to sephora i get there and i smell it i was so disappointed you guys like what nah i'm sorry even if i got that fragrance i would pair it with something else I don't even smell the vanilla. It smells like vanilla, but mm -mm, it was just a no for me. And I was really sad because I really wanted to convince myself that it smells good. So the guy at the counter, he was just like spraying a bunch of perfumes on people. So when he saw that I was like, ugh, on the perfume, he took this one and he was just like, on me. <laughs> and first of all, I was like, okay. <laughs> going on and i was like hmm, it smells nice it's like what fragrance is that and then he showed me this it was like it's this and then i went around and i smelled the other fragrances i didn't really like them um there was one that i liked it's red i don't know what the name is but it wasn't like i'll give it to my sister that's like 18 to wear but i wouldn't wear it myself this is Kayali Utopia Vanilla Coco. So it's a mixture of vanilla and coconut. And funny enough, I hate everything coconut, like coconut drinks, coconut anything. I hate it. Like I hate the scent of coconut. And I was actually surprised that I like this. When he told me that there is coconut in there, I was like, what? I can definitely smell the coconut in there, but it's mixed very beautifully with the vanilla. It, oh, I would describe this as a fresh, sweet scent. So it smells like, you know how you have all this, these coconut scrubs, this shea butter coconut scrubs when you take a shower? Yeah, it smells like that, but a little bit more elevated. I don't know how to describe. It's a very fresh scent definitely a day scent first i felt like this smells like a coconut conditioner but <laughs> no it smells really great it's not my favorite like i said but i would wear this if i'm running errands or if i'm just going to grab coffee with a friend i'll wear this the lady at sephora i got it customized so she did oh i don't know if you can see let me try it but then I don't know if you can see, but she did put my name on it, which I found very nice, really cool. It makes me feel special. It's like a little gift to myself with my name on it. If you don't like Vanilla 28, try out this one. If you like Vanilla Scents, maybe you'll be able to enjoy this one. So yeah, beautiful. This is Kayali Utopia Vanilla Coco. The last fragrance in my collection is this one. I'm sure you can tell already which fragrance this is. I feel like everyone has this fragrance. At some point, this went viral. Everyone was buying this. So this is Good Girl by Carolina Herrera. I feel like when you see this, you can tell what type of fragrance this is. The bottle speaks for itself. This is a grown, sexy scent. This is, I'm grown and sexy and I'm here. That's what it screams like to me. 
I don't know the notes in here. This is this is the bomb. This is a bomb scent. It's worth the hype, according to me. In my opinion, I feel like this is worth the hype. The bottle, the packaging just speaks to itself. Like it's this beautiful shoe and with a gold heel. Wow. I think this is the best looking fragrance that I have in my collection. Just uh, this is so nice. I would definitely categorize this one as a date night scent or as a night scent. If you're going anywhere in the evening and you're all dressed up, your makeup is nice, you're wearing a beautiful dress and heels, yeah, this this is the fragrance. Okay, so this is definitely my go-to going out scents. It's either this or YSN and Tons, and sometimes I mix both. Wow, and the combo is just amazing when I mix both. It's really, people always ask me, what are you wearing when I mix these two? I definitely love the bottle. The bottle definitely did it for me, but the scent is also a really great scent. And yeah, even when I'm done with this, I'm not throwing away the bottle. Like the bottle just, <sighs> oh, so pretty. And I like seeing it on my counter. It's just so sexy and the heel. Wow. If you want to smell grown and sexy, buy this one. This is the scent. When I wear this, this fragrance, I feel so confident. This is the only fragrance that I have in the biggest bottle because I always get the medium one. They have other ranges, but I've never smelled them. I don't know what they smell like. Maybe when I'm done with this one, I'm going to look into them to see what the hype is about because I've seen quite a few different colors of this one. Yeah, again, this is the Eau de Parfum. I think they have Eau de Toilette, but like I said, I don't buy Eau de Toilettes. I only buy Eau de Parfum. So yeah, so this is Carolina Herrera, good girl. Between this one and Saint Laurent Libre, if you're trying to build your collection, I would pick Labour. But this smells nice as well. The only problem that I have with this one is I feel like it doesn't last as long on my skin tone. I don't know why. I read somewhere that when you wear a fragrance for a long period of time, you don't smell it on your body anymore. So maybe that's why, because I've had this for a long time now. So that's why I'm a little bit put off. Like I don't want to repurchase this one. It's a waste. Like you want to smell good all night long, you're gonna be disappointed. So the next one, it's not a fragrance, it's just a sample, but I'm definitely planning on buying the bottle, is the Louis Vuitton Attrape Rêve. Oh my gosh, I'm just going to include this here because this, oh my gosh, mm. wow, this is the rich girl, I feel like if I smell this on you, I know you have money. I know you definitely have my. I know you got it. This is what I get from this fragrance. So I've been seeing this fragrance everywhere. A lot of people have been saying that it's the best fragrance from Louis Vuitton. So Louis Vuitton is designer, like Saint Laurent, like Valentino, like Chanel, but the fragrances are a bit more pricey. I would range them with Francis Cœur de Jean fragrances they're a little bit more expensive and they're not available everywhere you can only get it in the store or online this is attrape rêve so the one that's in the pink bottle it's very sweet and fresh i didn't want to blind buy it because i was scared i don't want to put that much money in something and it doesn't smell great so i went to the store and I went around, I, was, I, I spoke to the lady, she was really nice. She gave me two samples. Oh no, actually, she gave me three samples. She gave me two Attrape Rêve and then she gave me another one. I wasn't a big fan of it. So I went around in the store. I was like, I went for this one because I really wanted to see what the hype is about. So I smelt it and I was like, it smells really great. And I kind of like smelled the other ones and I wasn't impressed. Honestly, I feel like for the price, they can do better. I wasn't a fan of the other ones. So I was like, I really want to get a sample to see, test, and how it wears, if it lasts long, if it doesn't last long. So the lady was really sweet. She gave me two samples and I told her that I'm into sweet perfumes. And then she she gave me another one that was like really floral. I feel like that one smelled like fresh flowers. It smelled like a garden. 
and I'm not really into that. I'm definitely getting these. I'm treating myself to these. It smells amazing. Ladies, it's worth the hype. If you're into fruity scent and sweet scent, and I feel like it's a mixture of like sweet and floral. It's a mixture of both. And the lady also told me the bottle is refillable. It's refillable for like a cheaper price. You don't pay as much as long as you don't lose the original bottle. So when it's done, you can refill it. And they also had like the huge bottle. I think it was like 200 ml. Don't throw your samples, you guys. You can just throw it in your bag when you're going out and you know touch up a little bit but this one doesn't even need a touch up like you don't even need to touch up with this one because it does last really long so yeah you guys that's it for my video thank you for watching i hope you guys enjoyed my collection and let me know if you have like similar fragrances as me let me know which one you think i should add because i'm definitely on the look for another fragrance looking for something really bold really like that's gonna be my something that is not too popular something that i wouldn't be able to smell it on the average people i don't really like oud so that's already a no so i've been on the hunt but i just cannot find one so if you have any ideas or any recommendation comment down below and let me know so yeah that's it i was really happy to share my collection with you guys and i'm definitely going to film an updated version of this one because i'm sure by next year i would have doubled in this collection because i'm obsessed really been buying fragrances lately a lot if you're a fragrance freak help me out just comment down below which one you think i should get or any recommendation hope you guys enjoyed my fragrance collection and i will see you in my next video bye